Hi dear friends, it's me Harish Pukodam. Welcome back to new episode of Explore Yourself. Let us see what are the things we are going to discuss on today's video. Central University Common Entrance Test. We all are know that Central University Common Entrance Test have two path. One is path A, other one is path B. The part A comprising of some of the general questions that is mandatory ability questions, reasoning questions, general knowledge and English comprehension like this some of the general questions will comes under that category and minimum of 25 questions will comes under part A category for few courses and other courses have 50 percentage of questions for, comes from part A. In some cases, some cases, some courses have 100 percentage of questions is comes from part A. So here we are going to look forward about the coaching of part A. Today we are discussing speed, distance, time. We all are know that speed, distance, time is an essential topic for all competency examinations and competitive examinations. So in that category train problems is a common one so in train problems we are discussing about three things one is conversion conversion means we need to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second and sometimes vice versa also meter per second to kilometer per hour sometimes hours into seconds like with some conversion is there then the second thing is time and distance formula there is a formula regarding with time distance and speed Based on that formula, we are doing all the questions. The third one is train an object. You know, some questions is like that the train is crossing one object and this much of time will take for that. Then how, what is the length of the train? Like with some questions will ask. We are looking forward that type of questions also. So that is the first one. Um, three things we need to discuss. In that first three things, the first one is conversion. Conversion first one we need to convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second on that time we need to multiply with 5 by 18 if you want to get meter per seconds to kilometer per hour we need to multiply by 18 by 5 there is a trick too by had this one trick is that you know that the numerator the numerator will be in small figure there is two figures is there one is 5 and other one is 18 if the figure is the small one i mean the 5 if you are multiplying 5 by 18 we will get meter per second that means the smallest one as compared with kilometer per hour that meter per second is the smallest one if you are multiplying with 18 by 5 we will get kilometer per hour that is a trick then the time distance formula s is equal to d by t s means speed d means distance t means time that means speed is equal to distance by time you know sometimes the questions will ask in this way what is the speed on that time time they will give the time and distance in other cases they will ask asking about distance in that cases they will give the speed and time now some cases they will asking about time on that cases they are giving the speed and distance so we can look a question that is question number one a train is 200 meter long runs at 50 meter per second find out the time this is the question here the length of the train is already given and the speed of the train is given we need to find out the time so if you are getting any questions first of all you want to do write the given data here the length is there length of the train is 200 meter length means the distance so distance already we got then the speed is already given that is 50 meter per second we need to find out the time so we have one formula that is speed is equal to distance by time so we can give all the figures into this formula then 50 is equal to 200 by time then we need to find out the time so time is equal to 200 by 50 that is 4 seconds answer will be 4 seconds in other cases majority of questions will comes from train and object problems 
that questions have two cases one is train is crossing a pole or man or a tree in that cases we are doing the problem in a single way in the second case is train is crossing a bridge or platform or tunnel in the that cases in that three cases that means whether it is bridge platform or tunnel we are doing the problem in a single way in two cases also we have the same formula that is speed is equal to distance by time so we can take the first case case 1 you can see some picture in that picture you can see if a train will cross a pole a man or tree i wrote the picture i draw the picture of a tree so you can see how uh, speed is equal to in this case distance is the length of the train so speed is equal to length by time then case number 2 in that case in case number 2 the train is crossing bridge platform or tunnel so in this case distance is not only the length of the train but also the length of the object is also adding so here you can see length of the train we will treat it as l1 the length of the bridge platform or tunnel is l2 so the formula is s is equal to l1 plus l2 divided by time so we can look next problem problem number 2 a train 300 meter long is running at speed of 54 km per hour in what time it will pass a bridge of 100 meter long in this question already the length of the train is given and the speed is also given and the length of the bridge also given they are asking about the time so we need to write the given data so length of the train we will write as lt length of the train is equal to 3 lt is equal to 300 meter and length of the bridge also given length of the bridge is lb is equal to 260 sorry a length of the bridge lb is equal to 100 meter and they are given the speed also speed is equal to 54 km per hour so in this case we need to convert the kilometer per hour into meter per second so for converting kilometer per hour into meter per second i am on the beginning i am already told you we need to multiply by 5 by 18 so 15 into 5 by 18 is equal to 15 meter per second that is the meter per second value so we can apply the all the figures into into the formula that is formula is speed is equal to distance by time so distance is equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge so we can apply s is equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge divided by time so 300 plus 100 by time the speed is already there so in the case of speed we can do that that is 15 meter per second is equal to 400 by time so we need to get the time that is a question so time is equal to 400 by 15 that is 26.67 is the answer so we can look at the next question that is question problem number 3 a train covers 10 kilometers in 10 minutes it take 6 second to pass a telephone post the length of the train is that's a question we need to find out the length of the train so what are the things is there in the question you can look forward that that is 10 km that is a distance 10 means that is a time the same formula speed is equal to distance by time so here we need to convert the distance and the time distance is given in km we all are know, know that 1000 meters is 1 km so we need to convert into meter so we need to multiply 10 km into 1000 the same thing is happening regarding with the uh, time also time they are given on minute but we need to get on second we all are known that 60 second is 1 minute so we need to multiply by, with 60 so the formula is like this that means speed is equal to distance by time that is s is equal to 10 into 1000 divided by 10 into 60 that will be 100 by 6 if you are dividing more 50 by 3 will be the answer 
now we got the speed of the train speed of the train is 50 by 3 so now look forward the second part of the question the times taken to cross the telephone post is 6 seconds and the speed is already we have 50 by 3 that is the speed of the train so we can apply these figures into the formula that is speed is equal to distance by time here distance is the length uh, that means speed is equal to length by time they are asking about the length of the train so we are changing the formula into this form i mean length is equal to speed into time speed already we got that is 50 by 3 time is already given in the question that is 6 seconds that means 50 by 3 into 6 that is 100 meter 100 meter is the length of the train so we can look another question that is problem number four a train moves past a man and a bridge of 260 meter long in eight seconds and 10 seconds what is the speed of the train first of all let us write the given data here the time taken to cross a man is eight second so here the distance is length of the train i'm already given the idea about in the case one we are already discussing about the case one in on the front time on that time i'm already told you a train is crossing a pole a man or a tree on that time uh, the formula s is equal to length by time so here we are using that formula speed is equal to length by uh, time length means the uh, length of the train here length of the train is equal to uh, that means speed is equal to length of the train divided by time so length of the train is equal to time already given 8 seconds 8 into speed so that will be the first formula we are giving here length of the train is equal to 8s 8s means 8 speed 8 into speed so in the second thing we they were given in the question that is a train is crossing a bridge the time taken to cross a bridge is 10 seconds so we can apply this same thing into the formula formula speed is equal to distance by time here distance is not only the length of the train but also the length of the bridge so distance is equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge so the formula will be in this formula that is speed is equal to length of the train plus length of the bridge divided by time time already given we can give that 10 is the 10 seconds is the time then length of the bridge is also they are giving that that is 260 that is then the formula will be length of the train plus 260 is equal to 10 into speed that is the second formula in the first formula we will already find out the length of the train length of the train is equal to 8s so we can apply that into the second formula so now the formula is like this 8s plus 260 is equal to 10s so we can combine this ss i mean 10s and 8s on that time 260 is equal to 10s minus 8s so that means 260 is equal to 2s we need to find out the speed of the train that is s s is equal to 260 by 2 that means 130 meter per second is the answer so this is the very easy to find out the course answers so one thing i need to mention you know you have only limited time time period to do this calculation and all so make more more problems and solve it and make changes on these problems also in the figures and you can you can put your own figures on these problems and do more questions and make it thoroughly if you have any doubt you can comment in this video hi dear friends i thought this information is useful for all the people who are going to write the competitive examination please share this information among your friends and relatives if you want to get the videos like this video please subscribe our youtube channel explore yourself with harish pukodan I wish you all the very best for each and every person. It's me, Harish Pukarin.